How's it going there folks? I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs and I'm here to show you a new website called IFT. Now IFT came out just a couple months ago and it is amazingly cool. Now what IFT allows you to do, and the website by the way is ifttt.com, is it quote allows you to put the internet to work for you, end quote. Now for a lot of people they're like, well, what the crap is this? What does this do and why do I want to use it? Now, I will admit, even though IFT created an amazingly cool service, they did a really crappy job at explaining what it is that it does. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you what IFT can do for you and why you absolutely need to use it. So ignore this page, just click the join button, get yourself a username, an email, and a password. I already have all of these, so I'm going to sign in and I'm going to click my one password button and sign in to ift.com. Now, what I want to show you is the three tabs on top of the page. This is the channels button. Now, what channels allows you to do is hook up all of your social media accounts. For those of you that are probably thinking to yourself, ah, I know what this is, yes, it allows you to socially syndicate information and content without having to directly interact with said network. Now, for those of you that are like, uh, what? <laughs> Don't worry. All you have to do is set up the accounts you want to set up. The ones that are in color like Twitter and Vimeo and Weather and YouTube and SoundCloud and Dropbox are the ones that I have actually set up. The ones that are grayed out are ones that I have not set up. You can set up as many accounts or as few accounts as you'd like. Now, what I'm going to do now is go to the tasks area. This is the main basis for ift.com. Now, hopefully this can help you kind of understand how IFT can be really, really cool. Now, I can say if I take a new picture with Instagram, then place it in a specific folder in my Dropbox account. So I don't have to do any of that uh, photo roll, I photo crap anymore. All I have to do is take a picture and boom, the minute I take it on Instagram, it appears in my Dropbox, which is pretty amazingly cool. And the same appears for Dropbox. If I put a folder in a Dropbox folder, then upload it to my Facebook page. This can be really, really cool because you don't have to integrate with the crappy Facebook page uploader. Maybe you don't have access to the web version. Maybe you want to use the mobile version, but you want a high quality image. There's a lot of reasons to use these tasks. Now there's four buttons here. You can junk a task, you can turn it on and off, you can submit it uh, or make it into a recipe for other users to use, which we're going to talk about in just a minute, and then you can edit the task. I can also filter uh, by channels and by tags. Now, what I'd like to do is create a new task. So I'm gonna say if this, so let's choose a service that we wanna use. Let's do YouTube. Now I can choose a trigger on YouTube. There are three, if I, so you can say if, every time I favorite a video on YouTube, if I watch a new video on YouTube and say watch it later, or if I upload a new video on YouTube. So let's say I upload a video on YouTube. All I have to do is create the trigger, then this will happen. So now I need to choose another service. Let's choose SMS. And I'm gonna say, send me a text message. So I can create this action and this is what's going to happen. If on YouTube, I create a new video or upload a new video under that snazzy iPhone guy, then I'm going to get an SMS text message saying, hey, your new video is online. So then I can go and enable revenue sharing or choose the thumbnail that I want, et cetera, et cetera. So what if you're saying, well, I don't upload videos on YouTube. How does this benefit me? Let's try this again. If on Facebook, oh, I haven't activated that one yet. If on my Facebook page, I post a new photo, then what I would also like to do is post that to my Twitter automatically. So tweet with an image. That's pretty awesome, right? So I can create the action. Every time I upload a new photo on that snazzy iPhone guide, then it's going to post a tweet with that image on my Twitter account, SnazzyQ. So I don't have to do it on both. And what's even cooler is let's say I use the Dropbox one. So all I could do is drop a photo into my Dropbox and it will automatically go to Facebook and Twitter without me having to do a singular thing. It's pretty darn cool and I highly recommend you check out Ift Out. There's a lot of things you can do that you may think you don't need to do, but may be really, really handy. So let's say uh, the weather in the morning is really, really crappy. I can say weather, uh, let's say if the current temperature drops below uh, 32 degrees, which is freezing, I can create a trigger and say then send me a text or give me a phone call early in the morning. Let's do a text though because that's intrusive or less intrusive. I can say it's getting colder currently and it'll tell me the temperature. That's pretty amazing. So every morning if it drops below 32 degrees, it'll send me a text saying bundle up, it's cold. 
I can create that task and it'll begin instantaneously. This service is free. This service is amazingly cool. This service is something that you need to check out. It's ift.com. It's absolutely free and I love it to death. One last thing I do want to show you is recipes. You can see other users' uh, submissions to the public. So for example, this one is submitted by Derek Jackson. And what he allows you to do is say, when you change your profile picture on Facebook, also change it on Twitter. That's pretty awesome. If it's raining tomorrow, send me an email. If I start something in Google Reader, uh, put it on my Evernote account. If I post something, uh, or if I thank people in Twitter, oh, this one's pretty cool actually. Uh, if they mention you on Twitter, you can thank them via uh, YouTube, or excuse me, Twitter DM. That's pretty darn cool. Uh, if I upload a picture to Facebook, it will go automatically to my Dropbox. I can archive all of my tweets in Google Calendar. I can add something to my Netflix streaming without having to touch it. There's so many freaking cool things you can do with Ift, and you absolutely need to check it out. It's free. It's easy. Ift.com. Don't be intimidated. Give it a shot. Play with it. There's nothing you can do to screw anything up. It's a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, check out ift at ift.com. Thanks to David DeFranco of The Creative One for recommending this service to me. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.